Hello and welcome back to another Talk All Gaming tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can sculpt your own cobblestone bases like the one I have here in front of me. Now for this tutorial you will need a few things. You'll need some sort of uh, material in which to work with and I'll be using green stuff for this video. Uh, you could also use Milliput or uh, Super Sculpey or anything like that to get the same effect and I'll be using examples about those later on as well. You'll also need some uh, bases in which to actually sculpt uh, the green stuff onto and I'll be using these MDF RAM 32mm bases however you could also use uh, plastic or square bases whatever you want. I'll also be using one of these. Now this is a textured rolling pin and this is available from Green Stuff World as are all the materials I'll be using in this video. Now as you can see here it's essentially a rolling pin, it has this cobblestone texture and we'll just be rolling this along the, the putty and it will give us this kind of imprint. So now that we've looked at all of the uh, ingredients that we need to actually create this, uh, let's begin. So here we have the MDF base that we're using to create the base and I've mixed some green stuff here. Now just to use a fairly equal parts of uh, the yellow and the blue and I'll just be placing that on the base uh, like here. So I've already stretched it out so it's roughly the the size of the base but I want to make sure there's slight thickness in there as well. Now one of the things you can also do is also from green stuff you can get these plain acrylic rolling pins as well and you can just roll these over the top and it will really flatten it out. However, if you are using um, green stuff, one of the problems with it mainly is it's quite sticky. So what you need to use is you need some water or I prefer to use uh, Vaseline. And if you just rub a small amount of this onto the texture there, onto the actual surface of the green stuff, it'll stop it from sticking from the rolling pins or if you're kind of handling it with your fingers. So I'm just going to gently roll that across just to create a, a more of an even surface and make sure it covers the entirety of the actual base there. And we want it to have a slight thickness to it as well because when we actually come along to do the imprint with the cobblestone roller we want to actually have some nice depth in there. So now that we've uh, rolled this out nice and flat we can bring in the, the cobblestone roller and that should also still be quite um, slick still from the Vaseline we've I'll just put a little bit more on there just in case as we don't want this to actually stick to the rolling pin. So we'll get my rolling pin here and I'm going to place it at one end. I'm going to press down quite firm and then push in one direction, trying to keep a nice steady rolling action as I go along. So there we go. So it's very very simple, you can see how easily that was done. I've got this nice defined uh, cobblestone texture attached to the base now as well, just stuck to the base there. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll probably just wait for this to dry a little bit harder in a bit and then I'll go around with a knife and just trim the edges. And this will actually give me something similar to this that I have here. And this is one that I did here, it's already been dried as you can see here. Really, real nice kind of texture that we've got going on there. And I've just trimmed around the sides as well, so it's all nice and neat. Now, I did mention earlier on that you can use different materials, and I've got a few examples here. So, with the exact same technique that we've used for the green stuff, I've also got a milliput base here, and also a super sculpey base on the left here as well. And these, uh, you can see the kind of difference between the styles. The uh, the super sculpey is slightly less defined than the milliput. If I just bring the green stuff base back in, so you can compare all three of them. Um, Super Sculpt is quite nice though because what you can do is when you've sculpted it you can just put this in the oven along with the MDF base as well. It just takes um, 15 minutes at 130 degrees Celsius and it, it hardens straight away. You don't have to wait for it to cure overnight or anything like you do with the green stuff in the Millpot. The Millpot has probably got the best actual um, definition in it. You can really see how the layers have been nicely picked out in here uh, and with this um, I used a mixed a small amount of plasticine in with the Millpot and it really kind of allows you to get uh, a lot more out of a pack of milliput than normally. And it's all hardened, very nice, and very nice uh, textured, and also quite strong as well. So there we have all three variants. I'd probably say, in terms of actual ease of working, um, the green stuff's probably the easiest one, as you saw in that quick demonstration. It's very simple to kind of roll some out in a base, roll over it. However, if you really want detail, uh, then I'd go for milliput personally. However, if you want something to do done quick, then Super Sculpey is your best option. So if you're looking for a quick and effective way of creating some fantastic looking cobblestone bases, then I really highly recommend getting this cobblestone uh, textured rolling pin. Now this is £8.50 or €12, Euros, which means it's excellent value for money, especially when you consider the cost of buying resin bases instead. Now I'll pop a link in the description below to Green Stuff World, which is where I got these uh, materials from, uh, including the Green Stuff, the MDF bases, the Millipot and also the, uh, the Super Sculpey as well. Now also be sure to check back for our next video in which I'll be showing you how to use the, the Runic rolling pin to create effects such as this on your bases. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.